Welcome to the fascinating world of theatre. Today, we will discuss about lighting cue sheets. As we know that the primary function of lighting in the theatre is to make the stage picture visible, but the way in which the stage is lit will have a major impact on the way the audience perceives the stage picture and therefore the show. After the basic aim of visibility is achieved, the lighting designer's aim is to reinforce the overall dramatic impact of the production. The four general functions of stage lightings are first, visibility, second, motivation, third, composition, and fourth is mood. Now let us see what is a cue sheet. A cue sheet can be defined as a sequential list of changes running through a performance. It can be used to document lighting changes, sound changes, special effects and set movement. They are used by technicians to run a show and get all the elements of the show in the correct order at the correct time. Large shows have a single cue sheet on which all the cues for all the elements are listed along with the position in the script at which they happen. This is referred to as the book and it is used by the stage manager to call the show. A process by which each cue is relayed back to the various operators running the show. Lights, effects, action. Stage lighting is a critical component of any live performance, whether stage, concert, dance, or stand up, that evokes mood and unifies the production. The lighting designer creates the effects and communicates their execution to the technician with the cue sheet. The script for the lighting sequences. The cue sheet lets the technicians know how 
and when to produce the effects. It is written after all the lighting has been hung and the technical rehearsals has been completed. What the things you need for a cue sheet? The first is spreadsheet software and the second is script. For doing all these, the instructions of doing this is, first is open your spreadsheet and mark six columns with these headings. That is cue number, act and scene, page number, cue point description and time. Second is Label the queue numbers under the first column. Start with the number 1 and continue listing subsequent numbers based on the amount of effects in the performance. Third is the type, the act and scene where the lighting effects occur under the heading of the second column such as act 1, scene 1. List the exact page number where the effect appears in the script under the third column. Fourth is write a short sentence that gives the signal for the effect in the fourth column. This should be a precise action. For instance, in Act 1, Scene 1 of Hamlet, the cue for the lighting may occur when the character 1 enters. Fifth one is you should write a short summary of the lighting effect under the description column in the above example from Hamlet. The description may read stage lights come up. Sixth is type the length of the lighting effect in the sixth and final column. Suppose you want the stage lights to slowly fade in for 30 seconds when actor comes on stage. You would list the duration of the effect in this column. Now let us see the example of a simple lighting cue sheet. We have these columns in a cue sheet like the first that is the cue number. In this you give the number of the next cue. The prefix can be LX, SX, FX or RE used for fly cues. Second is act or a scene. The act and scene in which the cue takes place. Third is cue point. The specific point in the performance at which the cue will take place. Fourth is page. That is the page number of the script. Fifth is cue description. That is the description of what changes will take place during the cues. Now, 
let us see q number that is 1 act scene q point page q description now the q number is lx 34 act scene is act 1 and scene 3 and the q point is the stage left door is shut and it's on page number 19 of the script the q description is hall light is dim to 30% the q number is lx 35 act 1 scene 3 angad says shall we go outside now it is mentioned on page 20 of the script and the q description is that lights in lawn dim slowly and lights in bedroom go on another q number is lx 36 act 1 scene 3 now music stopped it's on the page 20 of the script and description of cue sheet is that all stage light dims to black and audience lights come up now let us see the example of a sound cue sheet cue number is sx15 act scene is act 1 scene 3 where cue point is at start of scene when lighting goes up it's on page 22 and cue description is the sound of birds and gentle wind which carries on for 5 minutes and 35 seconds s616 is the cue number and x scene is act 1 scene 3 we have 5 seconds after lighting is seen on the stage now it is given on the page 23 of the script and here the crack of the thunder is the cue description S617 is the queue number act one scene two Jannat says how are we doing to get home now is the queue point now it is on the page 30 and the queue description for this is sound of car pulling up and stopping now let us see one more example of lighting queue sheet queue number 1 movement is when queue happens that is when song theme from jaws start there the lighting description is hot sunny day at beach now the fade is that is a slow fade in the q2 the moment is when q happens that is when heard life saver appears stage left lighting description in this is follow spot on head life saver in q3 movement when q happens is when shark alarm sounds the lighting description in this q3 is chaotic dramatic lighting until shark alarm finishes then back to sunny day q number 4 where the movement when q happens when girl screams at end of the song here the lighting description is blackout or lights and the fade type is very fast in q5 movement when q happens is when song like surgeon starts bright hospital lights on set located on stage right rest of the stage is in the darkness q6 is when the movement when q happens when doctors start to operate here projection will come that is projection of the image 1 in q7 movement when q happen is when flat line beeps start lighting description is strobe machine and the projection stops at the point 1 q8 is movement when q happens when flat line beeps stop lighting description is everything goes red and fades to blackout the fade type is slow so producing a cue sheet will help you to focus on exactly how you want your performance to look and sound it is vital to have provisional copies for the technical rehearsal as it will cut down on the amount of time you spend creating cues using the provisional copies as a basis to start from cues can be added or removed from your list and a final working copy can be produced when filling in a cue sheet 
include as much information as possible. Specify exactly what you want to happen on stage and when you want it to happen. You might find it helpful to include a time column so you can specify how long you want a queue to last. For example, you might want to fade the lights out at the end of a show slowly. So a fade time of 10 seconds might be required. Bear in mind that a cue sheet may have to be used by someone other than you. So making it easy to understand is very important. Also, it's not unheard of for a first time lighting or sound operator to get flustered during a live performance and having a well-prepared cue sheets will help elevate some of the panic. For performances, it is probably best to create a separate cue sheet for the sound and light, adding any special effects cues to the lighting cue sheet. So, while concluding, I can say that a cue sheet helps you to focus on exactly how you want your performance to look and sound. It is vital to have provisional copies for the technical rehearsal as it will cut down on the amount of time you spend creating cues for a best production. If cue sheets are prepared for lighting and sound, then it gives you the finest outcome. Thank you. Have a nice day.